The Creative Evolution CNC's panel is designed to be simple and clean. We minimize the number of buttons and switches to keep it more upgradable for your future. A large flat screen display with silicone sealed keyboard makes the operation familiar for all PC users. The display itself is simple and uncluttered. Manual control and setup is easy. The handheld jog box is a standard feature that allows the operator to control the machine from locations most convenient for setup. It includes individual axis control buttons, jog increment selector, feed override, feed hold, and cycle start, as well as an e-stop button. 100 fixture offsets allow you convenience for a wide range of fixturing with grids of parts or pallets that hold multiple fixtures. 100 tool offsets support automatic tool changers and multiple offsets per tool as well. The edit mode uses CAD CAM files as subroutines. In this example, we can see how simply programs from your CAD CAM system are called. Graphics displays the toolpath to help ensure safe operation. Operators can quickly see that part setup is what they are actually expecting to get from the part programmers. Let's set up a block of steel and see how it all comes together by cutting a simple mold cavity. First, we'll clamp our block of steel and set up our fixture location. We will jog the x-axis to the edge of the block to find a known x-location. Incremental jog to one ten thousandth of an inch or one thousandth of a millimeter makes this an easy task. Knowing that the insert is two and a half inches wide, we will use the current location obtained by pressing the exclamation point and increment that by one and a quarter inch or 1.25. When we press enter, the X location is set for that fixture. Now we will do the same thing to set up the Y offset. Setting Z is simply a matter of touching off the laser probe's gauge pin to establish a known fixture height. Once the tools are loaded in the tool changer, we're ready to start milling. Laser tool probing automates your tool setups by eliminating the manual work. Tool length is set at the spindle's programmed RPM after warm-up, so thermal stability is ensured. In the auto mode, we decrease the feed override to safely start operation. While the machine is running, we can take a moment to check out a few display features. We can see the program that is executing here along with the percentage of completion displayed. At the bottom of the screen, we see the current time, as well as the cycle time thus far. 
Pressing the page up and page down keys shows more access information. Screens include the position relative to machine reference, the positive and the negative limits. You can also see the fixture offset amount as well as the A and B offsets if your machine is equipped with 4th and 5th axis contouring. Relative display is a user convenience, handy for setups and checking things. Distance to go and the amount of axis shift that has been commanded for purposes of blending etc. round out the position displays. Normally, I run this display mode to show the commanded location and the distance to go. Again, simply press the page up and page down keys to select your choice of display options.